，有一位年轻的从韩国来的讲者，他他将跟我们分享。好、哦，他在韩国怎么样从事 civic tech， 然后遇到一些困难。我想说，其实在这个 conference 很多，呃，分享这卡关困难呐、啊，然后不知道怎么样继续，都是很重要的经验。那也有一些很值得我们借鉴的地方。那我们现在来欢迎 Huni， 呃，来自韩国。Okay, uh, hi everyone. Uh, I, I can see some not strange faces like Julia and James. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I'm Huni Chang. I'm from South Korea.、Uh, yeah, I will talk about how to extend civic tech to civic organizations in Korea. Yeah, okay. I will introduce my our project in this year. Before that,、uh, yeah,、uh, let me introduce myself. I'm JavaScript lover and also basketball lover. And okay, I'm big fan of Stephen Curry. <laughs>、uh, you know, okay. And I'm civic hacking at Creative Commons Korea. Mm, and also organizing calls for sort community uh, with uh, relationship with calls for America and calls for other communities, and also I'm organizing、uh, MDN meetups. We translate MDN docs for developers into Korean、uh, on every first Wednesday yeah, monthly event. Yeah, those are my social accounts. Code Namu. Ah, Code Namu means tree. Namu is、uh, in Korean. Tree. So the name is Code Tree. It's the open data project initiated by Creative Commons Korea in 2011. So we are building lots of developer communities and supporting also and building data visualizing projects. Yeah, and researching also. So we have weekly meetups, Code for Solar meetups weekly, and annual hackathon for open data. And yeah, also have seminars and translating some publications. Okay, let my talk start.、Uh, before,、uh, okay, let me、uh, tell you some interesting story. Why we started this project? Why we start support our civic organizations?、Uh, some months ago, a Korean Green Party、uh, posted an article, very interesting article,、uh, including a file the. Accounting reports of other civic, other Korean parties. So we thought that oh, that's very interesting. So、uh, let's download it and let's read it. But we failed because of that.、Uh, it's it's weird, right? So we thought that、uh, why could it be happen? Why why do it happen? So、uh, we guess that maybe they copy and paste the URL of attached file on their own email. That means、uh, they don't know how to use Dropbox, Google Drive. Like, yeah, right. It's it's funny, but it's very unfortunate thing. And then、uh, I will give you a question.、Uh, could you guess what these numbers mean? Zero one zero.、Uh, unfortunately, the numbers of developers. In three biggest civic organizations in Korea, first one, no developers in the that the the in the organizations that is monitoring、uh, government's power.、And、only one developer in、uh, Korean investigative journalism center, and also no developer that is in the organizations that is monitoring em- environment issues.、Uh, the third organization is very famous in in the world, so. Uh, when we、uh, have lots of meetings with other organizations, and after we figure out ten numbers, ten numbers make me make us very shocked. So we decide to okay, let's support them, let's help them.、Uh, as you know, these days technology is really important not only for、uh, profit corporations but also. Uh, non-profit sectors because、uh, we can find the value, the story, the information, and even secrets on on the internet and on the data. But if they don't know how to write code, how to read data, then they they can do just a small thing. They cannot do、uh, lots of various、uh, very valuable things.、Uh, let's see, Sunlight Foundation, Calls for America. Uh, even、uh, Go Zero, they have lots of developers, and they have、uh, lots of huge networks of developers. 
But in Korea, it's different circumstance. What this number means? Yeah, that. In Korea, uh, there are lots of data portal maintained by governments, but there is no put open data portals maintained by civic sector, even by us, yeah, unfortunately. So uh, that means that uh, civic organizations cannot read or use data, or they do not share data with other organizations. And uh, not much, and there is no much open data we can use to hack our city, uh, just except on open, open government data portal. OK, there is limited open data in Korea, and uh, other civic organizations have much interest of data but lack of capacity. They don't have developers, but they do not know the value of open data. So uh, we are doing building a container using Sikhan open source. Uh, to put open data in, and we established open data expert group to do, to run this project, Codename Read Data. Okay, let's read data. So the name, our project name is Codename Read Data. Yeah, this is the process of our project. Uh, there is low data, and there are three parts the expert group are doing. Collect storytelling community. Uh, the most the most important part is uh, doing it with partnerships with, with other civic organizations like uh, like as you saw that those organizations. But I think the most important part of these three things uh, is to collect data and put the data on the container. So we can share the data to others for others to use the data for other things for their own campaign. Yeah, first part, data collect. Uh, yeah, as I said, that we are building an open data container using Sikhan. So I think the that container could be the first uh, open data portal in Korea maintained by civic sector. So. We, uh, we decide the main targets, uh, media and civic groups developers, and we select five top key open data. It's a, it's a very common, but unfortunately it's not common in Korea. So finance data, national assembly data, uh, like that. And we are collaborating with other developer communities like Code for Seoul and uh, open, data, open Knowledge in Korea and other individual civic hackers. And then uh, there is standard of data uh, by Open Knowledge, so like uh, open spending, open contracting. So we are building the data uh, uh, by that standard so we can share with overseas civic hackers we can, we can share the data. And second, uh, we are uh, building the data storytelling project. We are expecting the effect of this project is uh, the NPO, NGO can, can, can do campaigning, their own campaigning more effectively, more fit to smartphone, more fit to on the internet, more uh, uh, communicate with people very well on the smartphone and uh, I just as you know that there are lots of data storytelling projects by uh, New York Times or Texas Tribune so we can help uh, other civic organizations we could with uh, consulting with the ideas okay let me show you some examples of what we did in this year uh, first one is Officials Asset Explorer. On this side, uh, you can search every public officials in Korea, their assets. You can search. You can search their assets, just typing in their name, or just select their, uh, their groups, their party. And that including uh, the entire data from 2006 to 2016 
especially uh, there was uh, 20th general election in Korea. So we have that data. Uh, we built this site with Ustapa, the Korean Investigative Journalism Center. They have uh, lots of documents and lots of Excel data uh, with those assets, but they do not they don't have capacity to treat that data or to do something with the data. So we said that, okay, we can help. We can help the building decide. But the only things you should is open this, make this data open on container. So you, if you make this data open, then we can uh, go on with you. So uh, they considered uh, they do not, they worried about the, uh, uh, something, they worried about the data couldn't be exact because they, uh, they just copy and paste and they just, uh, yeah, typing all documents on the Excel. So they decide to open the data only from 2011 to 2016. That's the site. So there are lots of public officials in Korea. And if you click the person, then you can uh, see their assets and even their debt. Yeah. You, I think you can uh, enter the J-A-E-S-A, -E okay, uh, let me tell you later. <laughs> the second project is uh, the report of the 19th National Assembly. Maybe uh, the report of the National Assembly is uh, not special, but in Korea, uh, uh, there are not many civic hackers, civic organizations to uh, deal with the data. So we, we use the uh, data published by PSPD, that is, that is organizations uh, that is monitoring the government power. So we scraped, we, we built a scraper to uh, making those website data to a CSCB file. So we, that site including lots of all attendances of 19th members and all votes results of 19th bills. And also PSPD picked 19 noteworthy, noteworthy uh, beers, so we contain, yeah, attendance. And the interesting point is we draw a graph. The National Assembly members uh, vote different from party's opinion. Got it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's interesting, uh, like, let's guess, if the member is representative of the party, then we think that he or she can vote exact, uh, same in party's opinion, but there are lots of cases, lots of different cases. But some, some representative uh, vote different result from party's opinion. And that's a very interesting story. Yeah, you can see who bills and who attendances. And third one, uh, we are collaborating with major uh, media in Korea. So we are pick the issue, gentrification. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's uh, just very um, early. It's a uh, very early, it's, we, we just started this project. We cannot show some details, but we can show you coming soon. The last part is community. So as I said that we are building good for soul community and we are supporting lots of uh, Korean civic hacking communities. Yeah, so we think that the data should uh, used and reused and data should flow and data should given and taken. So community is we cannot ignore to spread out our value and spread out the data to other ha hackers and to other communities. So uh, we are really focusing on the community part. Uh, 
uh, I hope that many technicians seek to not only good code, but code for good. That's my hope, only that's my hope. Thank you. Questions? Uh,刚好接到下一场，下一场是那个data Thank you for your fascinating um, presentation. Um, um, interesting, as you said, there are not many civic uh, hack organizations in, in Seoul or in South Korea. I, I'm interested how many um, organi like, uh, organizations similar like yours in Korea at the moment and who uh, financially fund these organizations? Uh, the first. Uh, I'm not sure the organizations like us, but they, if that means they are using civic tech, maybe two or three, there are just uh, there are just there's old civic organizations not do not have not do not have much knowledge about civic tech and financial issues. Yeah. Uh, in Korea, there are not many foundations to support civic tech or um, civic tech issues like that. So, since Korea also had problems, financial problems, yeah, is that right? Thank you. Thank you for your care.